So what we're looking at here is the end of our respiratory tract. Uh, we've talked about our primary bronchi, secondary bronchi, and tertiary bronchi. And now, as we continue to bring air further into our lungs, we reach what are known as the terminal bronchioles. The terminal bronchioles are just the end of the respiratory tract to the end of the bronchioles. Um, the end of our conducting pathway, uh, where we're just trying to move air from the outside environment towards the inside environment. After our terminal bronchioles, we reach what are known as the respiratory bronchioles. The respiratory bronchioles are actually the first place where gas exchange can occur. Uh, and the reason that gas exchange can occur is because we can see alveoli. All right, so one, one little alveolus here. Uh, this respiratory bronchiole has a couple alveoli attached to them. Uh, and the alveoli are surrounded by capillary beds, and this is the first place where gas exchange occurs, where we move oxygen from the lungs into the body or into the blood. Uh, because these alveoli are attached to a bronchiole, we just call it a respiratory bronchiole. As we continue air flow moving down further into the lungs, we reach what are known as alveolar ducts, just have more alveoli attached to them. And then finally, we reach what are known as alveolar slats sacs, which are just big clusters of alveoli, right? These little balls, right? Or circles. So I kind of think of these as like big bunches of grapes, uh, with this being the stem, all right? And then all of the alveoli or all the grapes coming off of that, all right? So that takes us to the end of our respiratory tract. And once we fill uh, our alveoli with fresh air, right, you can see we also have a pulmonary artery, right? Remember, pulmonary arteries carry deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. Right? Our pulmonary arteries come down and form capillary beds around these alveoli. Well, in our pulmonary arteries or in our capillaries at this point, we can see red blood cells, which have a very low concentration of oxygen. If this is our alveolus, we have a very high concentration or let's draw an arrow here instead, right? Uh, high oxygen. Right? In here is low oxygen. Right? So we know that oxygen moves from its area of high concentration to low concentration. It's going to move into the blood cells, right? And we can see here that the uh, vessel turns from blue to red, right? It's become oxygenated blood, right? The oxygenated blood moves from the capillaries into venules and veins. Right? And the pulmonary veins bring blood back, oxygenated blood back to the left side of our heart to be pumped out by the systemic circuit. Right? So that is the very basics of our respiratory tract and the, uh, and the very, very simple piece on gas exchange.